smells like baby food. This is our beautiful pumpkin pie, homemade pumpkin pie. It smells so good. Ooh, strong, very strong. Pie crust, disc shape. Hmm. What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be making a homemade pumpkin pie with homemade crust as well. Um, so I'll have the ingredients in the description box below for you guys. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is get started with the pie crust. So you're gonna need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, some salt, some sugar, I have that set aside. And then also some ice cold water, I have that in the fridge, and some butter. And once again, the measurements will be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and start by processing high crust ingredients in the food processor. I'm gonna go ahead and take these over here. And then I'm gonna go grab the ice water and the butter from the fridge. So I'm gonna be using some unsalted butter, one stick of unsalted butter, and then three to four tablespoons of ice cold water. So let's go ahead and get started by processing these ingredients. We don't want to over process it, but we do want it to be kind of grainy. And um, I'm gonna be adding the water little by little. Don't want it to be too moist, otherwise it will be too sticky for us to roll it out, but we'll just keep an eye on it. So let's go ahead and process these ingredients. All right, let me just show you guys the process here and take the lid off. And I'm gonna add the flour to our food processor. One and a half cups of flour. And then we're gonna add the sugar and the salt. And then let's go ahead and add a little bit of water, just a tad. Oopsie. I added about two tablespoons of water and then some butter. And then just gonna process it and keep an eye on it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Definitely need some more cold water. So this is a perfect consistency from what I can see. Looks like little pea-sized uh, balls. So that is exactly what we want. Yeah, that looks perfect. You guys can see that nice and crumbly, uh, like little peas. It smells so good, it smells so buttery. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this blade out. Don't wanna keep that in here. Gonna remove the blade carefully and Get all the ingredients out of, off of the blade carefully. Put this in the sink. All right, and then let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're not gonna knead this dough, but we are going to form a nice ball and create a flat disc. And then we're gonna cover it really tightly with plastic wrap and we're gonna refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. So, have me some Red Bull on the side for that energy. <laughs> Let me just show you guys the process here. We are going to just simply put all the dough on a clean surface and going to simply, uh oh, might need a little bit more water. That's surprising. But let's just go ahead and see how this feels. It might be okay. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. And it's forming nicely, so this should be, this should be fine. So let's just keep forming it into a little ball. I'm gonna wet my hands actually. Um, that'll be a nice little trick. Yeah, there we go. Give it a little bit more water, just a tad. We're not gonna knead it. We're just going to form a nice little disc as best as we can, okay. Smells so good. Yeah, and we want to refrigerate this so it can get nice and hard for about 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. 
So, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Taking a lot out of me. All right, that is perfect. Yeah, that's a beautiful crust there. I gather all the crumbs. Make sure not to waste any crumbs. All right, I'm just going to tightly pack this just like so. And then I'm going to take my plastic wrap here. Well, I was gonna say Ziploc. It's not Ziploc, it's plastic wrap. And I'm just going to simply really tightly wrap this. I always forget to layer the surface with plastic wrap first before beforehand. But this is fine. I'm just going to continue to shape it a little bit, cover it up tightly. Perfect. All right guys, here's my beautiful little pie crust uh, formed into a little disc shape. So I, as you can see, tightly wrapped it with some plastic wrap and I'm going to set this in the fridge for 30 minutes and then we can go ahead and start with the actual pie filling. So yeah, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge really quick. Okay guys, so now we're just going to prepare the actual pumpkin pie filling. Um, so we're going to combine some of the dry ingredients in a bowl and then we will work on the eggs and the actual pumpkin puree and all of that. But I'm gonna grab a large bowl and we are going to whisk some ingredients together. So gotta get a large bowl. This one will work. Large bowl here. So now we're just going to whisk together um, like some salt, cinnamon, and all of that. And then we will work on the other wet ingredients. So let me just show you guys here. Okay, so I have a large bowl, as you can see. And we're gonna be adding half a teaspoon of sea salt. So, oopsie, it's a little bit more than half. This is about half. Perfect, half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Not my favorite thing, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious in this recipe. Half a teaspoon of that. And then one full teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon. So good. Oof, it's hard to open. So one hefty teaspoon of cinnamon, just like so. And then three fourth cups of sugar, just regular white sugar. And then one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. Ooh, that's strong, wow. Very strong. One fourth teaspoon, perfect. And now, I'm just gonna whisk this guy up. And then in a stand mixer, or you can do a handheld mixer if you have that. And we're going to mix together eggs, the pumpkin puree, the pure pumpkin, and then evaporated milk. So yeah, but we want to whisk the dry ingredients first. As you can see, it smells so good, wow. Those cloves are really strong. I like it. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, strong, very strong. So here is our delicious sugar mixture. Yum, smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this guy to the side and then I'm going to open a full, we're gonna be using a full 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin, pure pumpkin puree, there you go. Then we're gonna be using a full 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. We need to grab a can opener and then two large eggs. And let me check what else, whatever else we need for this. Two large eggs, these two cans, and that's it, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go grab the eggs and the can opener really quick. Forgot to grab the can opener. Eggs. Here's my beautiful little egg carton. Beautiful little brown eggs. So cute. <laughs> so two of these, put them to the side. And then I'm gonna open up these cans here and then we can go ahead and transfer these ingredients to a stand mixer. And of course you're gonna need a pie container. This is my 
beautiful little pie uh, container here. I'm gonna put this to the side. Pie dish, pie dish. Um, and then for the, uh, for the sand mixer, I'm going to be using my whisk attachment. So I'm gonna attach this to the sand mixer. And then here is the pumpkin puree. Yum, smells so good. Camera wasn't focusing, it smells like baby food. <laughs> smells good. And then evaporated milk. And then two large eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these over near the stand mixer and then we can go ahead and start by beating the eggs with the pumpkin puree. Put this over here. Give me a little whisk attachment. Attach this to the stand mixer. And then the instructions say, in a large bowl, beat the eggs and pumpkin together. And then, add, and then we will add the like sugar, cinnamon, cloves, all of that to the to the sand mixer as well. And then we will stir in the evaporated milk. Perfect. And then we will preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we will reduce the temperature. Okay. Let's just start by beating all of our ingredients together. Pumpkin mix. Turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna add the pumpkin puree to the stand mixer. You guys can't see me, but I'm doing it. Make sure to get all of the pumpkin. Went ahead and cleaned out the can. It's perfectly clean. And now we're just going to beat the pumpkin with the eggs. And then we will add the other ingredients. But, I'll show you guys here. I'm gonna add our eggs. Let's turn this on. to the to the stand mixer. As you can see, it's doing well. So I'm just gonna add this. I'm gonna scrape down the sides just a little bit um, so that we have evenly incorporated. Okay, let's turn this back on. and then we can go ahead and add the evaporated milk slowly. I turn it down to a low speed. Ooh. And add the milk. Okay guys, here's our delicious pumpkin pie filling here. You guys can see? Yeah. So delicious, smells so good. Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. And we have about eight minutes left on the timer um, until our pie crust is fully set. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and roll out the pie crust. And then we will preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake it for 15 minutes on that temperature. And then we're gonna reduce the heat to 350 degrees. And then we're gonna bake it for like 40 to 50 minutes. Um, but yeah, we have about eight minutes left. So once the pie crust is fully set, we can go ahead and roll it out. Okay guys, so we have about one more minute left on the timer for our pie crust. But um, before I pull the pie crust out, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the pie crust out of the fridge. All right, here's our pie crust. Go ahead and take this out of the plastic here. And I'm gonna grab my rolling pin. We're gonna need that to roll this out. Place this on the surface. Grab my rolling pin. Carefully, because it's like really solid at this point. So I'm just going to carefully roll this out. And then we will place it in our baking dish. 
going to do my best to make sure this doesn't fall apart. <laughs> so yeah, really use all my muscle. It's like so. My voice is shaking. <laughs> Out of breath. Oh my word. Okay, just gonna finish rolling this out. Okay guys, so the oven just preheated and I went ahead and rolled out the pie crust and put it in our baking dish. Here is the buttery, delicious pie crust. So now we're just gonna simply add the pie mixture or the uh, pumpkin mixture into our crust. And we're gonna bake it for 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and add all of the pumpkin mixture. Gonna give it a little mix since it's been sitting for a few minutes. Just gonna carefully add all of our pumpkin mixture into the pie mold. Scrape down the sides. It smells so good. That cinnamon it smells so good. All right. Perfect. I wanna make sure I get all of the pumpkin mixture. Want to make sure. Perfect. Clean bowl. And as you can see, filled it to the brim with our pumpkin pie filling. Doesn't it look delicious? So I'm going to go ahead and bake this for 15 minutes. Carefully put it in the oven. Okay. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes starting now. So once again, we're just gonna let that bake for 15 minutes on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once the 15 minutes is up, we will go ahead and reduce the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll bake it for 40 to 50 minutes. Okay guys, so the timer just went off. It's been 15 minutes. So now we're just gonna lower the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then we're just going to bake that for 40 to 50 minutes. Set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, counting down. Perfect. So after we're done baking our um, pie, we're just gonna check the doneness of the pie and make sure it's not too jiggly. It might be slightly jiggly in the center, but it will um, solidify once it cools off, but we want it to be just a tad jiggly, not super jiggly. <laughs> so 45 to 50 minutes um, should be good. And then yeah, our pie will be done and we can let that cool off. Okay guys. Take my headphones off. <laughs> so I have about 40 seconds left on the timer and our pie should be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven and then let it cool off for a little bit. And then I'm going to garnish it with some whipped cream. I bought some whipped cream at Walmart and then gonna sprinkle some pumpkin pie mix or pumpkin pie spice on the top. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven and it should be done at this point. So, oh, it looks so good. It looks so delicious. Yum. Look at this, this is our beautiful pumpkin pie, homemade pumpkin pie. It smells so good with delicious pie crust. It's so cute. Yum, so I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, and it's just like, like slightly jiggly just a little bit, a little bit jiggly in the center, but it will set once it cools off. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit and then I will eat some with you guys. Turn off the oven. Okay guys, the pumpkin pie has been sitting in the fridge so it should be cool enough to slice. So I'm gonna go grab it out of the fridge. Should be cool enough. Let me see here. Yeah, it's pretty good. the delicious original whipped cream great value from walmart this stuff is so good also their strawberry flavor so good but they didn't have that so i just took the um the original <laughs> that's what they had yeah so here's the delicious pumpkin pie i just topped it with some whipped cream whipped cream on the top 
buttery crust. Hmm, so good. Delicious, fresh. So delicious. Whipped cream. Here's the inside. Here's the inside of the pumpkin pie. So delicious. Mm. Add more whipped cream. So good. So good. In this crust, yum. So delicious. <clears throat> so good. Mm. Yum. <laughs> so good. Anyways guys, that was so delicious. Classic pumpkin pie and um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.